Ahoy, shipmates! Well, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting to do a ship's TV tonight. Much to the chagrin of the M3, the M25 and the M20, all trying to prevent me from getting back to my cabin at a sensible time. I managed to avoid those traffic jams or didn't get held up too much. It has been quite warm here in the south of England, although I've noticed weather conditions in port aren't brilliant. Excuse me, quick drink a second. Mm, it's thirsty in the old car today. Oh, we're on, oh, here we go. I was just about to say, we've got three ships departing this evening, and already the lines are being lowered on the real princess. We're just waiting for that row row to come in. There we go. I see the lines coming down. So we've got three ships departing this evening. The Regal Princess at five o'clock, Anthem of the Seas at five o'clock, and Britannia at six. It looks like Regal Princess is adamant on keeping to that five o'clock departure time. Anthem of the Seas is also underway already. She must have left slightly early. This is, uh, this is scandalous. Um, what am I going to do now then? It's making, it's making me think. Uh, let's have a look at another camera. That might prove fruitful. Oh, there we go. There's Anthem of the Seas. Um, I'm going to have to move the other camera to the other direction. Gosh, I'm all I'm all in a bit of a six and eight at the moment. So I wasn't really expecting to do one this evening, but I managed to get out early. Right, so Anthem of the Seas is there. Where, Anth where is Anthem of the Seas going? I do not know. I better check my information. What does my information say? See what Kevin Kevin too has suggested. Ah, Canthal of the Seas off for a seven night Norwegian field cruise via Bergen, Olden, Gringja, and Hogsund. Right, well, I wasn't expecting I hadn't even looked at the map. That's this is how unprepared I am. So like I said, I wasn't even expecting I wasn't even expecting uh Anthem of the Seas to be anywhere near this. I thought she'd still be in dock, but look at this, she's right by the Regal Princess. And then Britannia, she's further up here. There's Britannia. So we will see Britannia later because she's departing at a different time. Six o'clock, I think, is the time I'm looking for. So what we got here looks like we've got UKD Bluefin. And I think we'll probably see Anthem of the Seas on the right hand side shortly. Have a quick look on the other cameras, shall we? See what's going on in the Chin Cam. The Chin Cam. Not a lot to see the tides up. What's going over in Cowles? Quite a few yachts over there in the Solent. On Netley Cam, we could just about see Anthem of the Seas lumbering into view. Let's go back onto this one. Beautiful day here in the Port of Southampton. Let's look at the weather. We haven't looked at the weather. Current weather is a little touch on the gusty side. 22.4. Like I say, it's quite a bit cooler than everywhere else I've been today. Been in the glorious garden of england kent and in maidstone in fact there was a little bit of ship activity in maidstone itself but not a great deal the river medway flows through the center of maidstone we should be seeing any moment now the uh, anthem of the seas uk d bluefin is a is is in somewhat in the way is what i was going to say it's obscuring the view what's going on here oh, excellent we have plenty of shipmates in the chat i see there hoy there gaming infinity and hoy there mighty horsey and hoy there the young pals vlogger and hoy there tracy reese we've got a couple of spanners well excellent spanners mark g is in the chat I um, may not see too many of the spanners. Oh, look at this. We've got UKD Bluefin. Uh, also got Anthem of the Seas and one of the red jets coming in. It's, it's a bit like the M3 was as I was coming back to the Port of Southampton this afternoon. Busy is my technical word for that. There we go. Well, red jets at the bottom of the screen. UKD Bluefin SF. Let's see if we can find any waivers on the top. Ideal conditions for a sail away, perhaps possibly a touch windy. I was going to say possibly, um, possibly a touch windy. Plenty of people up on deck there, though. Look at that. 
they will probably be looking at the Regal Princess, which will be over to the uh, port side. And sometimes you get uh, people waving to each other. Sometimes the, the ships will blow their horns at each other. I was going to turn on the microphone from Itchin Cam, but I've looked at the, I had a quick listen just a second ago and it was quite windy. And um, when I've tried it before, I've had quite a few complaints from people that it's just a lot of wind noise, which makes sense because it is a microphone on top of a tall post on the River Itchin. Oh, we get an excellent view of the the big shot ride on the top there. That's glass cap, which you can see in the centre of your screen. You can jump on board that, and that elevates you high above the top of the ship, giving you a superb panoramic view. If memory serves me correctly, it also sort of leans slightly on and off the ship as well, so you can actually look off either side of the ship. I think it can be operated while under, you know, while in motion. It does not just a port-based activity. It is actually a uh, a motion-based activity as well, if memory serves me correctly. Sometimes we've seen it come down the port of Southampton with the with that sticking up in the air, with the capsule up in the air, but not recently. I believe it was a paid-for extra. Well, we're not doing very well on the waiver front here, are we? Maybe the stern will be more profitable ground. Definitely quite a lot of shipmates on board. Oh, it looks like someone's skydiving, indoor skydiving. Let's have a look, see if we can watch them do that. There we go. You can just see someone on the left-hand side of the screen. There, there they go, flying away. Fantastic. <laughs> well, they're doing a good job. I don't think that's their first time, is it? Well, okay, that's the first time we've seen someone skydiving on the channel. May not have had a waiver, but we've had a skydiver. I think I need to move another camera. Hang on. I'm in, I'm in multitasking mode now. Right, let's move that one over that way. Let's move you to there. I could just refocus this one. There we go, quite a large ship, I would say, the uh, River Seas. And now we've got Anthem of the Seas and Regal Princess. And the Roro there is also I'm sure she's coming and going. Oh, she's coming in, isn't she? She was docking earlier. I thought those lines were coming back in, but no, no, the lines are going out. She's just docking, and I noticed the lines have come in on Regal Princess, and she is moving as well. Oh, it's very busy here in the Port of Southampton today. And we've got Regal Princess departing. Just leaving the dock, as well as Anthem of the Seas on her way past Dockhead. Shall we refocus this camera? Maybe we'll get some waivers on Regal Princess. What do you think? Quite a lot of leisure craft out today. I think, unfortunately, I picked a day today to be working rather than being out on the water, which is bad of me, I know. That's one of those things. Oh, holy shipmate, Matthew Nesbitt. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Glad to have you aboard. I see the Southampton Sailing Club there. It's got quite a few vessels out on their swing moorings now. It's well into the decent season for the sailboats come to anthem of this uh, so this is regal princess i said fortunately i didn't have the microphone turned on but mainly because i think it's rather windy out there so just to move the cameras around a bit use itching cam because of the sun these early departures are very good. Oh, there, shipmate. Chilled alien. Well, may thanks for subscribing, subscribing, and welcome aboard. Let's go. Let's go to itching. You can see the high ferry there in the background. Looks to be quite a few people on Regal Princess with the the balcony doors. The partitions between them open, I think that's what I can see. 
many out on their balconies enjoying the lovely weather a touch on the windy side not as warm as it has been elsewhere in the south coast i know temperatures nearer to london were somewhere in the region of 28 29 centigrade only 22 21.8 here and the wind has dropped slightly as well Right, just moving the cameras about. No, any waivers yet, shipmates? Are we spotting the waivers? No, I've not seen any. Oh, hoi, shipmate Elizabeth G. And ahoy, dead chill daily. Not only are subscribers, become a member of the channel. Many thanks, shipmate. YouTube has graciously decided to re re return the membership system. I had to reapply every month. Eventually, they decided that, that they had made a bad decision. And well, there we go, we're back again. So, Thank you for becoming a leading hand, shipmates. Uh, many thanks for the, becoming a member of the channel. It does help with paying for new cameras, new installations, and so on. No, I still can't see any waivers. You know, anthem the sea is now really picking up some speed, isn't she? Look at that, You're noticeably fast down the Southampton water there while Regal Princess is coming out. Yeah, she's already at 11 knots. I think there's a red funnel ferry there somewhere as well. I'll keep an eye out for that in a second. Let's go back and see if there's any more waivers. Still can't see any. Disappointingly low wave account this evening. Oh, there, shipmate Tracy Reese. Oh, oh there, shipmate Jill. I think I've just done a quick, quick whiz through the chat there. So I appear, I appear to be, have been gassing away a lot. I put that down to my late arrival at station. So we've got two, three departures this evening. Anthem of the Seas, I must, I, I think Anthem of the Seas left early personally. And then we've got this is Regal Princess departing from Ocean Terminal and then further up Southampton Water in the upper dock near the upper swing ground we have Britannia there's Britannia up there at the upper swing ground she's due to depart at six o'clock Anthem, Anthem and Regal Princess both at five I'd imagine there's a Pretty much full ship on board here. Most of the cruise ships departing this time of year seems to be pretty full. You can see lots of shipmates out on their balconies. Ideal time to depart. Get to appreciate the sunny port of Southampton before you head on down to the buffet. Give yourself a little refresher before you go down. A few people on the stern. No bar on the stern, is there? Of uh, Regal Princess. Or not that I can see anyway. Or is there one higher up? Should get a good view as she turns to port. We'll see right down the side of Regal Princess. Oh, there, shipmate Ra Sal Ruse. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. It was like a good view down the side decks of the ships from this angle. Let's zoom out a bit, shall we? Oh, we can even see the train on the bottom left hand corner of your picture. That's the Hythe Pier train trundling away the pier head 
down into hive. So everything is in view here. We have cruise ships, container ships, boats, trains, and even people skydiving. This is quite an impressive view from this way. You can get to see right down the side decks with all those people out on their balconies. Lots of people on top as well. Let's see how the port side goes. Can't see anyone waving though. Stubborn bunch on Regal Princess. Regal Princess is off on a 12 night British Isles cruise. There we go, look at that, straight down the left the left hand port side, rather than the right hand port side. Not that there is such a thing, of course. So many shipmates on the port side, I don't think. So I'm struggling with the other camera, it's a bit slow. I don't know why. It's probably Friday afternoon. Let's get itself off down the pub. Yes, Recall Princess off from 12 Night British Isles cruise via Portland to see all those prisoners in that floating hotel. Falmouth, no, it's not Port prisoners, is it? It's um, migrants. Falmouth, Cork, Dublin, Greenock, Belfast, Invergordon, Leith, and some of. Ah, oh, hoi there, shipmate. Electric Gamer has also become a member. Many thanks, shipmate. Welcome aboard, and good to have you as a member. And where else we've got Invergordon, Leith and Le Havre, France. The British Isles cruise via the Channel Islands. Boy, oh, there's shipmate Steve Gidden. Many thanks for subscribing. Good to see you on board. So we have Regal Princess just turning. I'm noticing the temperature in my cabin is getting quite warm now. Oh, and I'm experiencing some, I think, some Friday afternoon internet connectivity issues. <laughs> oh, it looks like the, that picture has stopped. Go oh, there, shipmate Sharon Gover. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. Let's go to a different camera that's working. Itching cam here. So we've got the Red Funnel Ferry chasing down Anthem of the Seas. I'm going to have to see if I can reconnect with. Yeah, let's get this going. It takes a lot of connectivity to get all these cameras working. Sometimes my internet connection here in my cabin is not, uh, not able to cope. Something will fall over somewhere and break. Let's go back to cruise cam and see if that's working. No, cruise cam is just stuck. Okay, let's see if I can manually get this working come on cruise cam you've got the best picture cruise cam come on come on come on hmm. it appears not oh with the shipmate david rogers many thanks for becoming a member of the channel welcome aboard shipmate your membership is greatly appreciated. I think it may have just sparked back on. Did it just spark back in? Yes, briefly. Briefly worked again and then stopped. What's going on here? Come on, itching cam. Come on, cruise cam, I mean. Frustrating. 
Plenty of yachts out today. Perfect day for it. All right, that's going to go back to let's go wherever this way with the itching cam. So there we go. That's Anthem of the Seas, and now we have Regal Princess. And no, I'm not just reading the name off the side of the ship. I do actually know what ship departing. Off on her British Isles cruise, and there's the Red Funnel Ferry coming back in. Excellent place for a bit of ship spotting. Great views from the water. Probably wouldn't have got your timing quite so quite so sorted today with the ships leaving at five, and the ferry arriving at five thirty. Ideally, you'd want the ships departing at about half on the half hour then you'd get them for much longer for a much longer time Let's see if cru ah, cruise cam's working now just in time to see the stern of regal princess disappearing and the red funnel arriving Ooh, I've just spotted something rather large Look at that, it's a fancy looking motorboat, isn't it? Hmm. Not sure I know what that is. It's a tri level motorboat of some considerable size. Very nice. I know you're not here for that, though, are you? That's just my preoccupation with all things nautical. There we see this Anthem of the Seas there in the distance. Well, I'll have a quick look back at the chat now. Sorry, it's been a bit frenetic. Let's have a look. Lots and lots of chats going on. What's happening? Oh, hoy there, shipmate. Regal Game Builder. I think he's a new member. He says that his friends would have been working at Regal Terminal today. Oh, I'm sure they would have enjoyed the cooler conditions in the Port of Southampton rather than being too hot. It would have been quite pleasant. Our shipmate CGR says they went back on they went on Regal back in 2021 the first when cruises first started up. It was the second Princess cruise to go in the world post COVID. Oh, that's a, an interesting memory there, shipmate. It's starting to seem like a long time ago, those memories, doesn't it, of COVID? Move the cameras around. Still waiting for just one more ship this evening. That's Britannia at six. These two have left, I would say, on time and potentially slightly early. I'm just looking for that power boat, that rather large power boat. I think it's coming come up the other way. Distracted with uh, glorious gin palaces. Keep an eye out for it. Well, Britannia is at the other end of ports. I'd say due to depart at. There's Britannia at the other end of port, and she's due to depart at six. Weather today, ship bait's 21.7. The wind has calmed down a bit. You can see it was just after lunch, it was a bit blustery, but we've now calmed down to a Gusty 15.
Oh, shipmate Breezy Tosh. Over based on the over, over on the Isle of Wight, and he's I think he's going to watch them from right here. Actually, should have a good viewpoint there. Right, let's have a quick look and see if I can. I was hoping I'd see where this large power boat gone, but it appears to have not gone. This bit stopped the dock head. It's no good. How am I supposed to find it from there? Phantom at the seas, at the getting towards the end of Southampton Water. Right, where did I get to in the chat? Well, there shipmate Terry Silver says, What are the chances of cameras at Cow Shark 2 Centre? Run by the council, I have asked, uh, but nothing yet. Uh, I've got another option somewhere else at the moment, which I'm working on. People, they um, people don't like them. They get very upset with the whole implications of having cameras that they're not in control of. I, I sort of, I sort of get it. I understand, but yes, it does make locations tricky. But I'm still working on it. It's just a slow, slow thing. Back for the chat. So plenty of shipmates in the chat, isn't it? Oh, shipmate uh, Matthew Nesbitt says going to visit Regal in Belfast when she arrives. Ah, there we go. That shipmate Electric Gamer says they went on Sky, the sister ship, Regal uh, Sky Princess. I think it's uh, <laughs> Regal Sky. Getting my ship name's confused. to add them. See the red jet passing there. Conditions on the Southampton water look reasonable. There's a few little white caps here and there. Oh, it's a, probably just a touch choppy. My roving correspondent has promised that he'll take a camera out next time he's out on his little boat and give us a, a chase down of the ship on Southampton water. I'm not sure what the quality of the footage will be like. I imagine it's going to be quite bouncy with lots of oohs and ahs. It uh, might be worth a watch.
Oh, excellent. It looks like shipmate Phil Harrison is going to be on Britannia. And he's going to give us a wave from the mid. I did see the message. It's gone. Mid there we go. Port side on the mid. Excellent. We'll look out for you, shipmate. I think we just had a subscriber. New subscriber. Sorry, I missed that. I was busy at the heads. Probably too much information. Uh, shipmate Steve Dowdswell says. Uh, to, to Jay Morris, most cruise ships are like a town. Arvia is like New York. Well, I could say that's probably probably fairly good sentiment. Currently have Regal Princess in the centre of our screen. She's off on a 12-night UK cruise. That's popping into Portland, Falmouth, Cork, Dublin, Greenwich, Belfast, Invergordon, Leith, that's in Edinburgh, and La Havre in France. I just imagine there's some sort of Imagine there's some sort of taxing there where they can get uh, some sort of duty free or offset some sort of expenses by visiting another country. Although I've seen that Ireland's another country, isn't it? Maybe it doesn't really count because of Brexit. Oh dear. Let's not talk about Brexit, shall we? Well, there's a fantastically bright sail on Netley Cam. Look at that, shall we? Oh, look at that. that's very snazzy, bright yellow, isn't it? It's high visibility. It's because high vis sail up. Excellent stuff. It's my place, itching cam. So yeah, we get both ships on itching cam. As you can see, Anthem of the Seas is just starting to turn. I'm surprised we can't see them both on uh, Netley cam. Not not there just yet. Oh well, yeah, almost. Ah, we could Ridge Funnel Ferry as well. Ah, Chipmate Steve Max says there must be a party in La Havre. Yes, perhaps there is a party in La Havre. Perhaps we're going to pick up some snails. Ah, <laughs> Shipmate Jane Morris as she agrees that uh, RV is like New York, but very British. Apart from the diner, which I didn't go in. Oh, you didn't go into the diner. There is a, I think they call it a, a street food section. And they have a diner there. And I think you get fish and chips and noodles and things. It's quite good. Uh, very similar, something very similar on Piano Iona, which I went on with some friends the other week, or the other month, I should say now. And the shipmate friend I was with enjoyed it immensely. He, I would like to say he probably slightly overindulged. But he was promised that he was going to go on the, a diet for the next couple of weeks afterwards. Let's have simultaneous tandem cruise ships ahead of us on uh, Itching Cams. Get the name of the cameras. There we go. It's itching Cams view. As you see, we just about see them on cruise cam now. They're either side of the got a walled crane that's obscures our view most of the time. It's netty cam, we can see them both as well. Shipmate Electric Gamer says that Sky Princess does a British sail away. Uh, shipmate Jim Bob's just off of Anthem of the Seas this morning after two weeks. I bet you're all very relaxed there, aren't you, shipmate? You've come back home to some rather decent weather. Your holiday may continue for another day until tomorrow when the rain arrives. Sorry about that. Anthem of the Seas has Gary the Giraffe. That's right. I've forgotten about Gary the Giraffe. I don't think we can see it now because it's too late. Anthem's already whizzed off out of port. And I have a feeling it might be on the other side of the vessel. It might be on the starboard side. Anyway, there's a large giraffe towards the stern of the vessel. 
I'm not entirely sure why. Get quite a good view on cruise cam. Get the there's an explorer ship to the left. We've got with champion a bunkering vessel dead ahead of us. Lots of pleasure craft whizzing around there on the, on the Southampton water. Uh, Anthem of the Sea is going around Cowshot Spit and then Regal Princess with her stern towards us. There we go. It's just starting to look a bit hazy now, isn't it? I, would listen, I mean, I want to start the broadcast. Pretty sure the other white looked clear. Now it's just looking a little hazy. Maybe a little bit of fog or a little bit of mist coming in this time of night when the temperatures are changing. Often happens at the sea. We can have Anthem of the Seas in the front or Anthem of the Seas at the back. Take your pick. I don't know if you've been watching YouTuber Harry Dwyer. He's been navigating around, navigating around the UK. He's going around the entire coast of the UK, a bit like Regal Princesses. Uh, he's navigating in a small, I'm not sure how big it is, eight foot, no, it must be an eight foot, ten foot rib, an old Avon that he's restored. And he's been taking, he's taking a long time. He does little chunks at a time. He goes around, and goes to here, goes here. And, films that bit and films that bit but he's just released a new one and the reason i'm saying this just reminds me that uh, he also mentioned fog in his latest video it's this time of year where you bizarrely uh, with the heat conditions and the weather you can get this sea mist of falling so it looks perfectly perfect in lands and as you go to the coast you get a bit foggy Oh, hi there, shipmate Alain Rill. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Yeah, Howie Harry Dwyer. Have a look him up on YouTube. Yeah, stuck in fog, that's what he says. <laughs> Part 17 he's on to now. I have been enjoying his adventures. I have been also with a friend. We've been navigating around various islands on his speedboat. So far we've managed the Isle of Wight, Hailing Island and Brown Sea Island. We were thinking about the Isle of Sheppey this weekend, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out. Okay, fast approaching six o'clock. Six o'clock we will have Britannia departing and Britannia is at the other end of the port. She's up that way pointing the wrong direction i'm guessing she either head forward and spin round or we'll reverse down and spin round to the yeah see the head up here and turn around the upper swing ground or she might head down here to the middle swing ground i'm not sure which way she's going to go the bets are off but we look out for shipmate phil harrison who it promised that he will give us a wave So I'll put a link into Harry's channel for you into the chat if you want to look at Harry navigating around the UK. He does a good job. Put that in there. There we go. Yes, if you want to have a look at that, so you I may I suggest you you have a look, but maybe maybe wait till the end of the ship's TV broadcast. But, yeah. I 
think at this rate we might see Anthem of the Seas on Cow's Camp before we see Britannia. Let me just check. Let me just check. See what I can get. Let me just have a quick look. Do you know what I can actually see? Do you, do you think that looks a bit? Hmm, I'm actually looking at it now. I'm just looking. I'll work out if it was a screen or the direction I was. It looks a bit sort of pluty, doesn't it? On the right hand side of the screen above oh look at that Can you really see that hazy brown haze over the uh refinery or the I'll try and zoom out a bit gosh yes that looks kind of like where regal princess is left hand side of the screen looks fairly clear right hand side of the screen looks a little bit hazy i wonder if that's the fog forming or just a bit of general pollution Not so obvious on Netly Cam, probably because Netly Cam is not so close. If I switch across to Netly Cam, yeah, sorry, Netly Cam is closer, so there's not so much to impair the visibility. But on Itchin Cam, which is further away, you can really see that interfering with the visibility, can't you? Oh, with their shipmate, Sharon Gover. Gover. Not familiar with Southampton Water. Why do ships turn right around Cowshot Spit and then left again to pass the other way? Good question, shipmate. Good question. I shall endeavour to show you. So we can, let's do this now, shall we? Because I think... Uh, yes. We actually have a ship just in the right place to show you. Uh, if I go here, track. there we go. Right, let's show you, shipmates. So let's go back to here and go to map. So, after the seas, she's come down Southampton Water. Get this is cow shot spit here. It hangs to the starboard side and then goes around here and then out to the rest of the world. Now, why is that? Why don't they just go straight out? Well, this is shallow water up here where this helicopter is, helicopter water. And this here is a very, very shallow sandbank called Bramble Bank here, right in the middle of the Solent. So the navigational route for large ships is to go right, then left around Bramble Bank. So they sort of zigzag around. Smaller ships can go straight across what's called the North Channel, straight out to Portsmouth. But that's really only pleasure craft and the occasional small ship I would say something like UK Deep Bluefin would probably be able to manage it if the tide was high but it's, it's not particularly high so there we go good question there from shipmate Sharon Govan I think you're I think you're a new shipmate as well when you I seem to remember and let's go back to a picture of a ship shall we there we go Right, shipmate Steve Max says you get great views from the parade. That's the seafront, cows seafront. Yes, that's true. He's talking about over here on the Isle of Wight. There we go. There's cows. Uh, cows seafront is actually just about to see it. Just in right down there at the bottom of the screen. There's a couple of cars there. That's the waterfront. You get a fantastic view there. It looks like there's a helicopter right in the middle of the zone. Did you see that? Let's kind of have a look, see if we can zoom in on a helicopter. I haven't done that for a while. I like the challenge. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a helicopter or just a little black mark on my screen. No, no, it's a helicopter. There we go. That's don't know what helicopter that is. Could be Air Sea Rescue or RNLI. Looks like Coast Guard. Yes, I would say that's the Coast Guard helicopter. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? It's uh, going down. What's below it? Anything below it? We do see them often doing lots of exercises. They throw people out of the helicopter and then go down and rescue them. That happens quite frequently on the channel. Oh, 
Oh, shipmate Tracy Reese asking a question about uh, why some ships need tugs and some don't. Good question, shipmate. Not a dark question at all. Typically, commercial ships don't have the manoeuvring ability that the cruise ships do. Cruise ships have bow thrusters and their main propellers spin around like wheels on a shopping trolley, giving them immense amounts of manoeuvrability. Commercial ships, like container ships, do not have anywhere near the manoeuvrability, so they require tugs to tug them around. And if it happens to be really windy in the port of Southampton, say you've got su sustained wind over 20 knots, uh, you will often see the tugs helping the uh, cruise ships out. So, yeah, not a daft question at all, shipmate. Can't tell if there's... No, there's nothing in the water there, is there? Oh, is it landing at the airport? Is it how far away is it? I can't really tell. Oh, perspective, eh? Wonderful thing. Yeah, there's an airport there, Leon the Solent Airport. That's where there are some historical planes kept. I think there's a Spitfire and some other ones. And if you want to go on a Spitfire day, you can rent a Spitfire experience and it flies it flies over to the Needles and back again. So you get a fantastic view of the Needles and a Spitfire. Right, shipmate Andy C, a Bob the Boulder. Yes, it's the Coast Guard helicopter could be returning to land at this base in the other side. Yes, I think that's exactly what's happening there, shipmate. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Yes, it is, in fact, was landing at the airport. I thought it was a bit nearer than that. I should have known, like I say, perspective and all that. I'll keep an eye on the cow's cam because I think we'll probably see Anthem of the Seas on there shortly. And we are approaching six o'clock where well, six o'clock we will have the Britannia leaving from the other end of port let's go back to itching cam check that the cam let's go back to net the cam there we go so many cameras Oh, shipmate David Serafin asks, is the Hovercraft Museum still open? That's Leon the Sun. I don't know, shipmate. I assume it is. I've not been down that way in a while, but I did see they had an open day last year, which I unfortunately missed. So I'm going to say that it probably is, but I don't actually know is the answer I should be telling you. Yeah, I'm just having a quick Google and I'm not sure it's still open. I know they do struggle with funding. I hope it is because the, the open days are quite exciting. They take a hovercraft out and you can go for spins on the, on the Solent on a hovercraft. Oh, a new, uh, new member and shipmate Tracy Reese says that she remembers going to the Isle of Wight when she was 16 on the ferry and enjoyed it. Staying in Portsmouth, saw the naval vessels. Yes, there's a lot of naval vessels in Salem. There's a great set of museums there. If you do find yourself in Portsmouth, you can buy a, a big a big ticket for all the events. Uh, and there's the D-Day Museum, the Mary Rose Submarine Museum. Ooh, what else is there? Naval Museum quite a lot to see worth worth spending a couple of days really trying to get it all in oh, I should make Kevin to post a link to the hovercraft museum so have a look at that oh and shipmate uh, in fact spanner mark G says that it is the Coast Guard rescue there we go I knew we'd find out eventually now that looks like Regal Princess just disappeared round the dock head sorry round the cow shot spit there i'm gonna go over the cow's cam because i think there's a good chance that anthem of the seas will be on cow's cam very shortly so often we use cow's cam 
There's a good view there. Right over the solid. <laughs> Shipmate Steve Arnold suggests that regarding the aforementioned haze, he says three years ago we got some excellent footage of Anthem of the Seas from Cowshot. And the colour of its emissions was not unlike the haze. Maybe Anthem is responsible. Could be. I know some of the newer ships have this sort of scrubbing technology on board, and it does make it does make for uh, some peculiar colour vapour being emitted. Supposedly it's cleaner, but it just looks I don't know. It just looks odd. It sort of looks like poison gas. That's what I tend to think of. Uh, the other week we had Queen Mary 2 come past us on Cow's Cam and then stop. She had a medical emergency on board and had to wait for the, uh, the lifeboat to come in and collect a passenger. And here is Anthem of the Seas. The great thing about this camera is we actually get to see the ships going quite fast because typically now they could be building up speed and can be anywhere at sort of 16 knots at what is that that sees at 15 knots there we go so yes they start to pick up some speed here it's quite nice to see them go past in a timely speedy fashion fashion like you might see when they're, they're out at sea quite close as well to the shore this time that's what i forgotten the shipmate it was one shipmate suggested Going down to Cowes was an excellent lo location to view at the Harbour Parade, as you can see why. They're not very far away from you, and they blast past. Can't see as many shipmates now out on the balconies or on the top. I think they've all headed down to the buffet. Or maybe they're imbibing a rum based cocktail somewhere. Lovely pale blue colour to the Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. I do like the stern as well. Quite elegant. And there's the oh, and there's the um, Gary the giraffe that people were talking about earlier. I thought I thought Gary was on the starboard side. There we go. I'll zoom in for you. And it's, yeah, yes, your eyes are telling you the truth, and you're not being deceived. That is in fact a giraffe on the top there, with a life ring on, just in case Gary the giraffe falls in, he won't sink. Quite like the yellow life rafts as well. Remember that. Well, and I think were, ooh, we get to see those emissions that uh, the shipmate was talking about. See, it's slightly yellowy, yellowy sort of browny colour coming out the funnel. Do you see that? Just sort of hint of it there. I think that's the scrubbing technology which makes that sort of colour. Right, that was a Anthem of the Sea. Sorry, I was looking at the other, other ship, other camera. Ships and cameras. Also. There's the ferry coming in, and I'll oh, have a check. I think I probably should check, shouldn't we, on Regal Britannia? 
We'll see what Britannia is up to. Britannia is still moored. Britannia is at the other end of port. And there we go, up there. She is due to depart at six o'clock. Weather still a very acceptable 21 degrees. No idea what the humidity is. I would imagine it's quite high. Wind gusting to mm, sort of 12 knots now, 13 knots. Not too bad. Tide is as predicted. Right. Uh, we've got a bit of a lull in activities now, haven't we? All waiting for Britannia. So, what's going on in cruise cam? All over the place here. Zoom in, shall we? On. Let's go back to cruise cam. Nope, nothing to see down that way. Just a red funnel ferry departing. Keep an eye on Britannia. I haven't heard it. I don't have the radio going at the moment, unfortunately, which is a tad, tad bit of a nuisance. Oh, shipmate Steve22 is on the after Britannia as well. Does that mean we've got two shipmates on Britannia? Oh, Rab Despit's asking about the giraffe. Is it static or do you put a pound in that jump around? I don't know. Phil Harrison, uh, he's I think he's the other shipmates on Britannia. He says Britannia just starting engines. Excellent. So this is what I like. Live update from our onboard shipmates, our roving correspondents from Britannia. It is oh, seven minutes past six, so a touch late there. Captain will be won't be amused by that. Looks like one of the local work boats there, just departing along with the red funnel ferry. And what else? What if I'm missing the chat? Rab Despot says that they thought they'd be a big queue to sit on the giraffe. I don't know if you can sit on it, actually. I think it might just be a big giraffe. Some talk about the hovercrafts. I think it sounds like the hovercraft museum is still open. Have a look. Yes, it is. They are open. Every... Saturday from 10 till 4. And you visit. Grab an ice cream. There we go. Well, I'm going to have to pop down there again. I know they do have open days. Let's see if that's on. Let's see if they've got any open days on. That looks like... Uh, oh, that looks like the replacement Hythe Ferry. What's going on over there? Have we got a broken Hythe Ferry? There's two ferries. There's only one ferry normally. Uh, but that doesn't look like your typical Hythe Ferry. So the typical Hythe Ferry is the one on the left, the, the catamaran-style vessel. And that's normally... I think that's... Well, I can say, I think it might be called Great Expectations. I'm not sure. I think all the Great Expectations. Mariah Heap. Oh, I'm not sure now. They've got references to Hardy. So that, that smaller one that's there now is the replacement vessel from the other one's broken. Never ending problems over on the Hythe Marina. Sorry, Hythe Ferry. It's a great way to get from Hythe to Southampton and back again. And you also can see the ships on the water. So if there's a couple of cruise ships in, you get to sail right past them. It's absolutely brilliant.
going on down here? Not a lot. Not a lot going on anywhere. Just waiting for Britannia. Shipmates have updated us and said the engines have started. I've got no movement on the map. If we go back to the map, have a look at the map. Britannia is here at the other end of the port. So we're Cruise Cam is looking out over over this area of water. Itchin camera is about here, looking over this area of water, and then Netley Cliff Sailing Club camera is just about here. That's our coverage with our three cameras at the moment. Oh, hoy there, shipmate Lizzie Clark. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmate. Welcome aboard. Currently watching the Red Jets and the Red Funnel. So that's the Red Falcon Red Funnel ferry from the Isle of Wight. And one of the Red Jets, I'm not sure which one. Red Jet 7, the newest of the Red Jet fleet, I believe. waiting for Britannia to depart. Engines have started. We have two shipmates on board giving us up live updates. Let's have a look at what's in what updates. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on here. Oh, okay. Yes, it's Jenny Blue. That's right. Jenny Blue is the little high ferry. Thank you for that. Excellent spelling, Kevin. Too. Obviously, the other one's broken down, which I can't remember the name of either. Charles Dickens. Yes, that's right. I was thinking of beer. That was the problem. Distracted. Uh, shipmate Daniel Ennis. Is there any chance of getting the radio transmission on the show? Yes, there will be. I'd say. Uh, it's a combinational problem of various different things that's requiring me access and just difficult to get it all sorted, but it will happen. Oh, it's a bit little Seaborn says that the actual giraffe on Anthem of the Seas is twice the height. Ooh, I need to go back to Cow's Cam. I've been, I knew this would happen. There we go. There is Regal Princess. Going past Cow's Cam now. Ah, oh, what a nice view. Great place for a spot of ship potting. Ship spotting. And Britannia has now started to move. She's broken away from 106 berth, I think it is, up at the far end. And that is Regal Princess off on her UK tour all around the UK, Ireland as well, and Northern Ireland, Scotland, Edinburgh. Then down to Le Havre in France. Question is, which way is Britannia going to go? Is she going to go to the upper swing ground or to the middle to lower swing ground? Okay. 
let's have a look at the map, shall we? See what's happening. All right, here's the map. So here's Britannia. Oh, she looks like she's heading forwards. So she's going to this upper swing ground here in front of the container terminal. Oh, that's rather disappointing because that means it will take a little bit longer before she appears on camp. Let's go back to cruise cam then. In the meantime, when we got the Red Funnel Ferry, and I think that's Regal Princess disappearing in the distance. Uh, there were some questions here earlier. Some blah blah blah. Uh, what's the questions I'll get to? Oh, yeah, someone says that uh, Gary or Gigi is twice the height of a real elephant. Uh, yeah, that's pretty huge. Uh, shipmate Susan Cleland says she's bed bound due to her injury. Says she watched all the ships sail this morning. Oh, good for you, shipmate. Oh, they sat at Netsley last September evening before we sailed out on Iona. And watched Anthem Britannia sail up. Oh, excellent ship. But yes, uh, where did you say we sat netly? Mm. Yes. Yeah, it's a good spot to sit in netly, actually. Yeah, you get to um, come past. All see all the ships. I hope you get better, Susan, shipmate. I don't want to surf. I don't want to hear you're in bed too much. I hope it's nothing too bad. Uh, shipmate, uh, Spanner says that uh, Britannia's on the move. Phil Harrison says just on the move. I think Phil Harrison is our shipmate that's on board. Uh, Daniel Black's shipmate Daniel Black says that earlier I mean I said that the graph was Gary. I think it's Gigi. I'm not sure. I've heard people call it both so I think if we talk about a giraffe on a ship I think it's quite obvious which one we're talking about. Oh there we go. Some couple of shipmates on the channel call it Gary. I think I prefer Gary. <laughs> Shipmate David Serafin says they remembered when the Red Funnel had the Norms Castle, Caresbrook Castle, and Cows Castle. And the first fast hydrofoil. Gosh, shipmate, I don't want to say anything, uh, but you must be a little bit older because that's a good memory. Looks like shipmate Susan Cleland's got some sort of damaged caudal hamstring. Oh, uh, it's probably all that kickboxing, I'd imagine, shipmate. Come on, take it easy. Oh, shipmate Phil Harrison's giving us blow by blow accounts is what's going on. It says swinging around. Which we'll also see on itching cam. We can see a regal princess. Oh, that might go. oh that looks like the harbour master coming back up as well. Go back. Yeah, go back to this one. Let's have a look. Tanya, yep, heading towards the upper swing ground, right at the top now. And she'll swing round anti clockwise or counter clockwise, depending on your preference, and then head on out. So I reckon she'll probably be on our screens in about 20 minutes, 10, 15, 15 minutes, maybe, something like that. Looking at the map, what are you looking at? Are oh, you looking at the map? I left you looking at the map. Sorry, brother.
I'm just going to head down to the galley for a moment. And like I say, give it ooh, 15, 20 minutes and we'll probably see Britannia on our screens. And I'll continue to follow then. She's just at the upper swing ground. It's just started turning to the left. It'll be with us shortly. See her from the right hand side of the screen. I should be back shortly, shipmates.
Ahoy, shipmates, back in. Looks like Britannia's just passing Mayflower Park, be in view, I would think. It's like five, five, ten minutes or so. Over on uh, Medicam. Yep, see you on the right hand side. Right, we've got a couple of waivers that are going to be on Britannia when she passes. So that'll be good. I haven't seen any yet. Uh, let's have a quick look in the chat. What's been happening in the chat? Has anyone been talking about anything interesting? Or have you all been getting an ice cream and a cup of tea? Who, oh, yeah, what deck you want? Chris here. Uh, oh, Fan Fiona. What deck are you on? Okay, so the. Mm. Oh, it looks like we've got three shipmates on on board. Yeah, Fiona. We have shipmate Fiona Holly and shipmate. I think it's Steve Two Two and shipmate Bill Bill Harrison. Was it? I think so. Very impressive. Definitely got some waivers. So what we got here? Let's have a look. Cleaning can now. Oh, Steve22 says at aft port side or up. And ship me enough. Shipmate Fiona Holly's ready to wave. Oh, this is good. Right, good job, shipmates, because we haven't had any waivers yet today, so this is rather disappointing. So you can uh, bring up the crew with the waving for our last departure. So aft side Aft port four up. Okay. And then I think I'm not sure where the other shipmate was. Oh, Fiona Holly is two decks above Steve. Oh, that'll be handy. Well done, shipmates. And where is the other shipmate? I'm not sure if he said with uh, Bill Harrison, just time for a brew. Oh, I think he's gone to make a cup of tea. Good job, shipmate. Well, that's very important to get these needs underway. Ah, I could just see the corner of Britannia now that's on the right side, right on the side, right side of your screen. I'm just making way down south under water. That's right, the uh, through the docks. There we go. I'll look at the map and I'll show you where she is. There yeah, she's there, just passing Town Key, heading towards the dock head. Right. Oh, I must. I need to turn some things on. Lots of things have gone asleep while I've been out. Right. That's that's that back on. Yes. Yes. Give me access. Yes. Yes. And that's going to be on that camera. Okay. That's working. Now the other one is over here. I need to turn that on as well, so I can look at the other camera, which is going to be itching cam. I put these in the right order mentally it helps me i think there we go right so there we go I, oh no hang on i've got two on the one camera that's, that's not... right now i'm all set up excellent uh britannia where is britannia off to i hear you cry Excellent spanner came into his field with information there. Off on a seven night Northern European and Scandinavian cruise via Hawksund, Skuldin, Olsen, also Copenhagen, Skagen, and Hamburgers. So we've got uh, Phil Harrison. Yes, he's on midship port side. And I believe that Fiona and Steve222 are on the aft. Oh, sides and they're all on the port side so we should definitely get some waving so i've got cruise cam on the ready won't see them on netly cam or itching cam for that matter not from this angle anyway there's some grain silos in the way 
and cruise cam will get a lovely view as they come past but we'll have to wait till there we'll probably see uh, phil harrison first because he's in mid and we'll see the other two towards the end because they're aft Oh, shipmate Steve 22 says it's 14 nights. Oh, my apologies, shipmate. Uh, oh, I've only got seven nights down. I'll take it you know what you're talking about as you're on board. <laughs> yep, sorry, shipmate, it's 14 nights. We'll give you any calls for alarm there. <laughs> An unexpected uh, change of schedule. Yes, apparently uh, VTS is a bit of a mistake there. Getting quite close now to the dock head. I'm shortly on. In fact, I've got to go to cruise cam now because I think I can see the looming shadow. Oh, there's shipmate Eva Ichibul. Welcome aboard, shipmates. We can see the shadow on the bottom right-hand corner there. That is the shadow of Britannia as she departs on her 14-night cruise. Let me say that's correction just for the... The benefit of the heart of Steve and Phil Harrison, who thought their cruise was going to be cut in half. It is actually a 14 night cruise ship, mate, so don't panic. Just that's my, unfortunately, my bad speaking there. Right, let's have a zoom in, see if we can see where these shipmates are, because we should have three waivers today, if luck should have us. So I think it was Phil Harrison who was mid. So we're coming into the mid section here. I can't see any waving going on. Mm. Mm, there's a bit of a gesticulating hand. Uh, where's this waving then? Well, definitely quite a few people out on their balconies. He's not on the top deck, is he? I'm assuming he's on his balcony. And then we have Fiona and Steve towards the rear. Um, something like four decks above something that I seem to remember them saying. So we're definitely past mid. This is mid aft, of course. No, I can't see anyone waving. No. No, then we're definitely in the mid aft area now. Some lovely looking cabins there on the stern corner cabin there look at that you've got a balcony door right on the corner that's fantastic i can't see any waving it's a little it's quite, oh there we go oh, i see some oh that's a fantastic cabin actually that was the cabin i was looking at and saying oh, i think that's a fantastic cabin Now, I'm not quite sure which shipmates they are, but that's some quality waving. Now, look at that. Arms stretched out. Double waving. They're checking their devices. Like I said, there's quite a delay between the... I've, I assumed he had a device in his hand, but now I'm looking at it. I think it's more like a rum-based cocktail. That is what a sweet they've got. Oh, double hand. There's party time there. It's having a Congo. <laughs> oh, more waving above. Oh, is that the other shipmate? Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, this is a whole lot of waving going on. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's waving his shirt around. Hang steady on. It's going to feel a lot like a Chippendales going on there. I'm sure we want Chippendales. I was just saying that's uh, probably my preferred location right on the aft there. On the corner suites as well. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, we've got the whole circuit motion going now. I'm a bit worried his shirt's going to come off and then he'll, he'll be whipping his trousers off and be banned from YouTube forever. <laughs> now, so there is quite a delay on the feed and it's not always easy to, for people to see. If they're looking on their devices, you could be up to sort of 30 seconds, even a minute sometimes. Sometimes you need to refresh it to get the the latest view well that's good effort shipmates well done oh, now we've got something coming on down in the one below 
feel like it's a competition. Yeah, it's taking his shirt off. Oh, no. I'm, 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 I've got to zoom out now. <laughs> this could all be going wrong. <laughs> oh, just enjoying that Southampton sun. Oh, great. Have a good trip, shipmates. Enjoy the Scandinavian fields for your 14 nights on Britannia. Oh, I've had to compose myself slightly then after the novelties of shirts coming off <laughs> on Britannia. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, uh, so we had two, sh <laughs> two ships depart with no waving at all. Uh, Britannia departed with two corner suites on the aft, absolutely jam-packed. Full of people waving and shirts coming off. It's got a first time for everything on the channel, I suppose. <laughs> Glad you're in that party spirit already. Quarter to seven. You haven't even had time to hit the buffet and you're enjoying your cruise already. Fantastic, shipmates. See, it is a gloriously wonderful sunny day. I'm wondering if I, I don't zoom in in case he's still in case he's gone further. I'm assuming he hasn't. Assuming he was just overexcited to be on the Southern Ships YouTube channel with what was that? Somewhere in the region of oh, for 400 people watching. <laughs> Unexpected turn of events for the channel. Oh, it's still waving, I think. Yeah, I'm still waving. There we go. I think we didn't see Phil Harris, unfortunately. He disappeared off of the uh, the midships. But yeah, there we go. They're waving again. Quite silhouetted from this distance. I think you might have to put the shirt back on, shipmate, before you head to the buffet. I don't think there. I don't think it's uh, no shirt, no service in Britannia buffet. I would imagine. <laughs> Excellent stuff, shipmates. We enjoyed that. Good job. Shipmate Nadia Robert Shaw's got a Welsh flag for her balcony when she's going out. I'm not sure when she's going out, but good job, shipmates. Oh, and shipmate Explore With Me was on Britannia this morning. Now I'm sad. Oh, don't worry, shipmate. I'm sure you can. Oh, Phil Harrison's been waving a towel between the ships. Well, let's have a look. Let's see if we can zoom in on you between the lifeboats. Okay, well, it might be a bit out of range, but let's give it a go, shall we? Let's give it a go, Phil. Don't want to lose you out. I just didn't see you initially between the lifeboats. Okay. Giving you a chance here, Phil. Get some, we can get quite close here. There we go. Where are you, Phil? Where are you? Where are you, Phil? Where are you, Phil? There we go. Got you, Phil. We've got you. There we go. You can see that towel. Well done, shipmate. That's three waivers on Britannia. And that's some sort of poker hand or something, isn't it? Three waivers in the Britannia? No, I'm not sure. You can see how visible that towel is. Gives us a good wave. Well done, shipmate. Many thanks for that. Many thanks for your updates as well. Very helpful to have uh, onboard correspondence for the departures telling us when the engines have been fired up and when you've slipped away. Brilliant. Many thanks, shipmates. Appreciate you all giving us the updates. Oh, I suppose I'd like to thank all of our subscribers and new subscribers and members to the channel. Now, actually, now that membership's back on, many thanks for the new members of today. Many thanks for the current members as well. 
I shall try and supply you with some more content shortly. Of course, thanks to the Blue Spanner crew who look after the chat when I'm not here and also provide me with helpful information when I turn up very late and last minute and they keep me up to date with things that are happening. Thanks to all the spanners. Thanks to my uh, Patreons and PayPal donors. And I will probably endeavour to do a broadcast on Sunday evening. So make sure you are subscribed so you'll be notified if I go live on Sunday. We have Arvia departing. There's a few others on Sunday, I think. Isn't it? Or it's just Arvia. really should know these things, shouldn't I? Really? Let's have a quick look. I think it's... Let's have a look. We've got a couple of ships on well we've got Iona and Sky Princess on Saturday and then Sunday with Arvia and Riviera I've not done Riviera before in live stream I can remember so we'll probably do that should be for 102 so probably live about 5.30 if I'm not out messing around on the water somewhere well I hope you enjoyed that shipmates uh, I do appreciate you all joining in and and uh, all those comments in the chat are excellent. And I think for the first time we've had a bit of a bit of a shirtless waiver going on. <laughs> Very amusing. Excellent stuff. Until next time, shipmates.